Welcome to the Engineering Workshop. I'm Hunter White. This is going to be a quick video tutorial on how to program the IVAC Pro automatic dust collection system components. We're going to start with the IVAC Pro Tool Plus. This is a sensor that goes on a power tool, and in this case, I've got it on my miter saw. When this is attached to the power cord of the power tool, when the tool is turned on, the back will sense the amperage going through that power cord and it'll send a signal to the rest of the components. So the first signal is going to be sent to the blast gate and this will open the blast gate and the dust collection piping to allow the dust collector to pull dust from that tool. Simultaneously, it'll send a signal to the IVAC Pro switch which will turn on the dust collector and it will also turn off the dust collector once the tool is done being used. So let's get into how to program these components for your dust collection system. To program these components, you have to set the system address and the tool address. The system address delineates which dust collector you want to use. For one dust collector, use system A. You can add up to eight tools to system A, which are set by the tool addresses. To program the system address and the tool address, flip the switches inside the components that correspond to the address you're trying to set. So for my miter station, I'm setting up system A, tool 1. For the IVAC Pro Tool Plus, I'm setting it to System A, which is leaving the first two switches in the off position, and setting it to Tool 1 by setting the fourth switch to the on position, or up. I repeat these steps for the second component, the IVAC Pro Blast Gate, setting the system address to A and the tool address to Tool 1. The IVAC Pro switch is a little different in that it doesn't have any tool addresses, just system addresses. I set this to System A, which is the default setting, by ensuring that the first two switches are set to off. Switches 5 and 6 change the turn off setting on the dust collector from 0 seconds up to 45 seconds. I left this also on the default setting, turning off the dust collector after 5 seconds after the tool is shut off. Here's a quick demonstration of these components working together to automate the dust collection system. To add another tool to the automatic dust collection system, like my table saw, I connected another IVAC Pro Tool sensor to the power cord of the table saw. I program the sensor to System A, Tool 2, by ensuring the fifth switch is in the on position or up. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.